Hi guys, thanks for coming to check out this video. We are smack bang in the middle of exploring Finland. And before I get on to setting up my weeklies, I'm going to now choose the countries for next month. So May, so you guys can help me vote. So let's get on to it and choose them right now. So last time we had Italy, Romania and Finland. These two will go back into the pots after I make the choice. But thank you, Finland. You were awesome. I loved exploring you. Um, and now let's get cracking. So first one, shake it around. No cheating. I don't like cheaters. All right, what do we got? We got Spain. Ooh, I've been to Spain. That could be fun. And then let's go for, what are we gonna pull out? We've got Yemen. I know nothing about Yemen. That could be very interesting to look up. And then our last one is... Uh, we've got Nicaragua, which is actually my most favorite word to say. So they are great choices. Um, I hope you like them. So we've got Spain, Yemen or Nicaragua. So leave your votes down below in the comments after you've watched the video and we'll see which one wins for the month of May. Let's get on to it. I'll see you soon. So starting this week with a cute little drawing of a very cute little seal. Um, it's the Saimar ringed seal, which are a pretty unique animal because they live in complete isolation from other seals. They are basically bound by the confines of the Lake Saimar. And it, this is a massive lake in Finland, but it is the only place you'll find these guys. I think there's only around 400 left there. Sadly, they did lose their numbers a lot down to 120 by the 1980s, but then conservation came on board and luckily they're growing now and they're up to 400 or 410, I think I read. Um, so that's really cool. They're beautiful little creatures. And there's actually a really cool video that's up online from WWF, which helped to conserve these guys. They actually had a camera that was on the seal rock where they like to hang out and was just streaming live for a while and yeah when you condense that down you get to see this this seal in its natural habitat because it is extremely rare to catch them in the flesh on Lake Saima. So very cool indeed. I'll link that video down below if anyone wants to see how adorable they are. Um, I actually watched it for a little while and he kind of gets on the rock and then he falls off into the water after he's done some sun baking. Very cute stuff. I'll also mention that Lake Saimaa is actually the biggest lake in Finland. It's about 4,400 square kilometers large and it's also a freshwater lake. So that's why this seal is one of the rarest freshwater seals there is. With only three freshwater seal species remaining and the other two are in Russia and this one in Finland. So this month with, with my weeklies, I wanted to keep them quite simple. I've just used my fine liners to do the bulk of the drawing and then my markers to add some definition and some color. And then to really add that pop of color this month, I thought I would choose one particular washi tape and try and use that across all of the um, weeklies to make them all quite cohesive and look like they're part of the same group. So I found this beautiful one that was um, red and a little bit of turquoise in it and of course my favorite gold. So here's what it looked like at the end. I just really love the background. I feel like it pops that seal out from it. So really happy with that. And then it's time to move on to the next page. Now this next page is a little bit uh, nostalgic for me and a little bit of a, a quirky one, I'd say. So Finland are the creators of Angry Birds. Now I'm sure you all know what Angry Birds is, but just in case you don't, it is a game that was invented by a Finnish games development company called Rovio Entertainment. So we thought I would let this live. Thought you knew me so much better. 
It was a very simple but addictive little game. This guy, I can definitely see how people would get addicted. It was, yeah, quite fun to play. And they've also turned this little series into movies as well. I think it's just one, maybe one's in the works, but I've seen the first one and it's very good. So I thought it was a pretty cool thing that it came from Finland and thought I should include that in my weeklies. So here I decided to draw a little angry bird, which by the way was so much fun to draw. I think the simplicity of the design of the bird itself just made it really quite enjoyable to just sketch out a little idea that I had, which was of the angry bird getting really um, stroppy at playing a game on his Nokia phone. Uh, which is Snake. So this is where it got nostalgic for me. My very first phone when I was like 15 or 16 was the Nokia 8210. Um, let me know if you remember these phones. It feels like absolutely decades ago um, with how far we've come with technology now and smartphones. But man, I loved this phone. It was so cool. I remember taking it to my year 11 exams, I think, and I had it like clipped on to my belt loop. I remember thinking I felt so cool. I think I had to hide it under my shirt actually because you weren't allowed phones in the room anyway, but it was my birthday, so I wanted to wear it. Anyway, um, but I loved Snake. That was one game that I definitely played a lot of. So obviously as well, Nokia is a Finnish company that really was the market leader from 98 to 2012. So all of my high school years was, everything was Nokia basically. And actually the patent for a pocket-sized folding telephone was created by the inventor in 1917, who was Finnish, Eric Tigerstedt. So really we can account all of our technology in our little hands to this guy's idea back in 1917. So I thought it would be cool to celebrate Finland's creations and combine the two in a cute, quirky little drawing. And I love how this one turned out. Very different to most of my other drawings, uh, but the comic sort of cartoony style was really welcomed for me. I had lots of fun doing it and I really love this pop of washi tape as well. For the next weekly, I decided to go back to one of my favorite loves, which is drawing buildings. And this building in particular was just beautiful. This is the Helsinki Cathedral. Um, so right in the center of Helsinki is this gorgeous um, church. And it's pretty much the landmark that you would see mostly when people think of Finland. So this is probably, yeah, the most recognizable one. And it's just this beautiful church with lots of intricate detail and I love these domed, uh, oh, I don't know what they're called, domed peak on top of the church itself. Anyway, they are gorgeous. So I drew it all with my fine liners in black and then I loved adding all the little details, but I really tried to keep it, you know, not, I wasn't too fussy on exactly getting every detail right. I just sort of just went with my gut and put lines and strokes where I felt it needed some texture or depth. Um, and then I'm just using my gold pen to add on some accents to it and then that beautiful washi tape running through the background in behind it. Now I did just read as well that this cathedral is actually filmed in the background of an old video clip that you might remember from Darud, which is, he's a Finnish um, DJ and record producer and he did the song Sandstorm and it just is taking me back, back to 99. I listened to a clip of it. As soon as I heard the word sandstorm, I feel like I remember it because it's, if you're sort of of my generation, you will just remember this song. I thought I'd just sing you a little bit because it's stuck in my head now. But anyway, that's nostalgic for me as well, that song. And this Helsinki Cathedral is in the background of the video clip. So there's an interesting little fact for you. I'm in a place that I've never been. It's worse than lonely. Can someone tell me there's a good in me? There's good in me. Cause I got doubts, I got doubts, I got doubts, yeah. 
And now moving on to our final page for our Finland bullet journal setup. And this weekly page, I had to include Santa's Village. Now, if you weren't aware, the official Santa's Village is located right here in Finland in the city of Rovaniemi. And it looks so cool and would be such a dream to see this land of imagination. You can ride a sleigh that led by reindeer. Santa's always there 365 days a year. You can visit 365 days a year. It's always open. I saw that there's Santa's post office, Santa's candy and chocolate store, Santa's snowmobiles, anything Christmassy you can think of is in this village, including a absolutely gorgeous building that's um, uh, called Mrs. Claude's Christmas Cottage. And it looks just amazing, like just like a gingerbread house straight out of a fairy tale. So I really wanted to include that to end on a very happy note of our visit to Finland. So I'm just drawing a reindeer with Santa leaning down to him. I found an awesome image that I could use as a reference for this. And I was really glad that I could get the reindeer into my setup somehow because there is over 200,000 reindeer in Finnish Lapland. So I thought it was quite an important animal to portray in this and considering how you know, loved they are across the world. It was the perfect way to sign off for our Finland monthly setup. If you haven't seen my videos before and you're wondering what I'm doing, these weekly pages I do set up just to suit my own needs. I just do like a to-do list that I put on each day of the week and I just leave enough space on a double spread to fi finish my whole week. So I have a spot from Monday to Sunday where I can list my daily duties and then cross them off or migrate them if I don't get onto them. So really helpful tool for me to use and to keep productive. And I love to just decorate them because it helps build my skills and definitely makes me come back and use the journal every day. So that's what I'm doing and I hope you enjoyed all these drawings. If you did, please give me a like down below and subscribe to the channel so you can stay connected and see what other countries we visit in the future. And don't forget to leave your vote on the country for next month, which is May, down in the comments below. And I will reveal the winner next week in my Art on Cue video, which is going to be a Finnish inspired drawing that comes from the prompt word of Sisu. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye bye.